hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm anu adjusa and you're watching the golden fish tv if this is your first time of seeing my channel welcome and if you're passing by thanks for stopping by and if you've not hit the subscribe button please don't forget to do so and if you've not hit the notification bell at the same time please do because i get a lot of complaints these days that many people don't get no notification please if you forget to hit the notification bell please do so so anytime i'm on live stream or i load a video you'll be able to get notification that i'm on thank you all so much who have subscribed so far i truly appreciate it and if you find this video interesting please give it a thumbs up and this video is actually for share not just to watch please let's join together and help a family in distress let's help this family before it becomes donation now all we need to do is just to hit the share button and you have helped this family please help this family let this audio go viral let everyone know what church of god mission japan branch pastored by bishop kenny nycia and his brother festus nycia who lives in canada and the general overseer of this church of god mission church is bishop margaret benson idahosa she's the one that is the general overseer of this church she is the general overseer of bishop kenny and once here in japan this case as a matter of fact has gotten to our table and mrs idahosa said she don't give a damn about it please my people out there let this audio go viral this is a cry from a family who margaret bishop idahosa and her co-pastor have enslaved they trafficked them to japan and now they enslaved them they've taken everything from this family they said if they don't come to join to stay in their church they're gonna forcefully deport them my people out there, human trafficking is a, is a crime against humanity. Let's all join together. Let this audio get to the Japanese government. Let this audio get to Nigerian government. Let this audio video get to governor of Edo State so that Margaret Idaosa will be charged for human trafficking. Please, my people out there, all you need to do is just to share this video. Thank you and God bless you. As you help this family in need, so God will bring someone to help you as well in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a family of five, a father, a mother, and three children. Three children who have spent years in Japan. And now this bishop, alongside the general overseer, Mrs. Margaret Idahosa, are trying to forcefully deport them just because they can no longer extort money from them. Please, my people, listen to this audio from the father of this family crying out for help. And he's willing to give you any information you want by contacting me and I'll give you his number. Please, my people, this family needs help. They are in Japan. They can't speak Japanese language very well. Bishop Kenny is just like their eyes they used to see in Japan. And he's taking serious advantage of this family. Please, my people, let's help call Margaret Idahosa to order to control her bishop, her human trafficker in Japan, to free this family and give them their visa to stay there. This family got nothing to return home so if they are deported please my people share this video and help this family thank you hello my people greetings all the way from japan tokyo tokyo i am Izebu stanley Just a minute, guys. Hello, my people. 
Greetings all the way from Japan, Tokyo. I am Izewa Stanley, who is involved in this trafficking under Kenny. It is my family that has been the subject of discussion for some weeks now. We were the ones trafficked here by Bishop Kenny. He brought me here, told me what to pay, paid for myself, for my wife, my entire family. <clears throat> and even after doing that, the slavery has not ended. Every other thing I did myself, I paid my ticket. I have been trying to make sure I actually work with him. But I discovered the more I want to work with him to avoid this problem that is keep repeating itself now, he kept putting us under serious pressure. The way and manner he started demanding money from my wife, from me, bumping into orcs anytime, going behind us to go and collect our money we have worked for because we use his uh, contact to do the job. He draws a job for us. If you tell him you are not going for that job, you are as good as going back home. If you finish the job, they pay you the money. If you are able to collect her from him, it is God that has helped you. Nothing will make you not to pay your tithes at the end of the month, except you want to go home. Every form of levy in offerings, in seed feed, in first fruit, there is nothing we do not give him. And at the end, we are virtually left with nothing and perpetually remaining under his mercies. He is so bad now that because we could not cope with all these challenges and decided to stay away from the church, church is to bless me and not to enslave me and my family. It is becoming something that is giving us sickness, high blood pressure. We can't sleep well. I have to walk away. Having walked away, Bishop Kenny at once went to the immigration to destroy my family's visa. My visa, my wife's visa, my three daughters' visa, all were destroyed. An attempt to also try and look for a way and sort myself out to remain in this country. He also went to other departments, like the asylum department, to tell them that the woman with three children will be coming here. The woman is his wife. He quoted the names of my three daughters, and Japanese believed him. And when I got there, they told me that I was a higher husband, that my wife is a fraud. He should go up and the husband, which is Kenny here once. According to the information he has deposited with the lady that he took along to be a witness. He became so tough until we discover that was what he did. As I speak now, only God knows how we feed. Only God knows how the children live. Only God knows how we pay our rentage. All the children's support, the welfare, the educational support, the, 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 the health insurance, everything has been removed from us. Nothing left for us. Because of what? Bishop Kenny's threat. I don't have much to say. I am just appealing to every one of you listening and hearing my voice right now. Whichever way you can assist, I can't go back to Nigeria. We all know the situation of things there. I have nothing at home. Nothing to turn back to. I have sold all properties to raise funds and give to him. I have sold everything to buy tickets. I virtually nothing. And on top of that, he wants me back home. For a reason, I'm still waiting to hear from him. All my tax records, they are still with me. Whatever information anybody needs, I am ready to give. Thank you so much for how much you have stood for me and my family. May God bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen. And this is a audio also from the wife, what she also have to say.
Ma, not only that, apart from paying him the money, I, he also comes to my house sometimes. I give him food. I give him money sometimes. I, I, I bless him with money. We will pay this, pay that, pay that in church. He just feels it's not enough that he needs to have access to everything, every pin I make. If he cannot have access, then I cannot live in Japan. Every picture I post on Facebook, he is just, oh my God, this woman made money again. Oh my God, she made money again. She has to give me or she will go back. We sold everything we had to come here the way he has said. We will stay here, we will do this, we will do that, we will do that. Now he wants to forcefully deport me without a penny. Home. You see, human being, ma, and he called himself a bishop, not a pastor, not a reverend, a bishop. Is that not slavery? Is that not trafficking? Ma, well, I know that definitely he will not go and punish. Bye bye. So my people, thank you all for watching. Please share this video. Share this video to help this poor family who are under the captive of Bishop Kenny Enwaisia and his brother Festus Enwaisia who is trying to run for the president of Edo Union in Canada right now. And also their general overseer, Mrs. Margaret Bishop Benson Dahosa. Please, you people should let this video get to her and her family. This is human trafficking. This is bad slavery at this modern time that we are living. God will bless you as you do that. Thank you all for subscribing so far. Thank you all for being here. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.